After George Floyd's death in 2020, many law enforcement agencies updated their use of force policies. The Tarrant County Jail wasn't one of them. Records obtained by WFA show the jail last revised its restraint policy in 2007 and its use of force policy in 2009. Your policies will dictate how your staff behaves. Leonard Veray is a former prison warden. He testifies as an expert in jail cases. If your staff is going to operate under antiquated policies and the process that was acceptable 15 to 20 years ago, um, you know, you're not going to respond appropriately to today's climate. He said many agencies now prohibit officers from putting a knee in someone's back as occurred in Floyd's death. There are other ways to deal with those kinds of individuals. This past spring, Tarrant County prisoner Anthony Johnson died from asphyxia after he was pepper sprayed and a jailer put a knee on his back. That one incident, if I was to just look at that, is indicative of an agency that needs to upgrade its policies. It needs to upgrade its training. Sheriff Bill Wayborn this week again refused to brief commissioner's court on his agency's policies and procedures. The county administrator read an email explaining his reasoning. Public discussion of our policies and processes would not be productive or practical. The sheriff is an independently elected <coughs> official, um, but I do think in this instance, radical transparency is probably the best policy. In recent years, commissioners have approved almost $3 million in settlements related to the jail. The sheriff's office told WFA policies are reviewed as needed. The techniques for use of force have not changed in recent years, so the policy remains in place. In Fort Worth, I'm Tanya Iser.